You know, every day we use incredible bits of tech without even thinking about it, just overlooking the uh, the brilliant science, the sometimes surprising history tucked away inside. Today, we're taking a deep dive into one of those exactly the microwave oven. I mean, it's everywhere, right? It's common as a coffee maker, but the real story, how it works, where it came from, what else it can do, well, it's much richer than you might think. We've gathered uh, articles, research papers, some really interesting historical accounts, actually. Our mission today is basically to cut through some of those common myths and give you a fresh look at something you probably use, well, almost every day. That's absolutely right. It's uh, it's easy to sort of compartmentalize technology, even for those of us who try to keep up. But the microwave, it's such a perfect example of how, you know, ingenuity, sometimes just pure chance, can take something from wartime right into our kitchens. And then, remarkably, into advanced science labs, too. We really want to show you the layers of, well, clever engineering and physics packed into this thing. It's not just convenient, it's genuinely fascinating. Okay, let's jump right in then. You hit start, and like a minute later, food's hot, feels like magic. But what's actually happening? What are the precise science making it heat up so fast? We know it's not just vague radiation for our listeners. What's going on down at the molecular level? Well, the core idea is actually pretty elegant because it's so specific. A microwave oven uses electromagnetic waves, uh, similar in nature to Wi-Fi signals or radio waves, just a different frequency. And the genius part is that this specific frequency is tuned perfectly to interact mainly with one type of molecule that's in almost all food, water. Ah, okay, water. And water molecules are special, aren't they? They're polar. So for listeners familiar with molecular structures, that means they have like a positive and a negative side, a sort of tiny electrical imbalance. So when these super fast oscillating waves from the microwave hit these water molecules, what happens? Exactly. Because they're polar, they desperately try to align themselves with the electric field of the microwaves. But that field is flipping back and forth uh, millions, actually billions of times every second. So imagine these tiny water molecules trying to flip, rotate back and forth incredibly rapidly. We're talking billions of rotations per second. It's not a gentle wobble. It's a, well, a frantic molecular dance. A frantic dance. I like. And all that intense rapid rotation, that molecular jiggling. It creates friction between the molecules. And that friction is precisely what generates heat thermal energy. It's a direct conversion of that electromagnetic wave energy into heat right there in the water content of the food. Okay, that distinction is really important because it cheats down one of the biggest myths, doesn't it? The idea that microwaves cook food from the inside out. You still hear that all the time. Oh, absolutely. That's a core misconception we really need to clear up. 